Ukraine said on Tuesday its forces were still holding out inside Severodonetsk after Russia destroyed the last bridge to the city, marking a potential turning point in one of the war's bloodiest battles, now the biggest fight in Ukraine. Satellite images released by Maxa Technologies on Tuesday showed the damage to structures around the eastern Ukrainian city collected on Saturday. Ukraine says more than 500 civilians are trapped inside a chemical factory in an industrial zone of the city, where its forces have resisted weeks of Russian bombardment and assault. The city's mayor said evacuations were being carried out discreetly every minute when there is a lull and a possibility of transportation. The National Police of Ukraine on Monday released footage of officers evacuating civilians in bomb shelters in what it said was Previlia in Luhansk region, just over 12 miles of Severodonetsk. Ukraine still holds Lysychansk, the twin city of Severodonetsk, on higher ground on the opposite bank of the river. But with all the bridges now cut between the two cities, Ukrainian forces acknowledged they could be encircled, just like in Mariupol, a city which fell in May after months of Russian siege. Russia's separatist proxies said any Ukrainian troops left behind must surrender or die. Both sides claim to have inflicted huge casualties in the fighting over the city. Moscow has committed the bulk of its firepower to delivering one of President Vladimir Putin's stated objectives, forcing Kiev to cede the full territory of two eastern provinces. Local separatist media said Ukrainian artillery struck a market on Monday in the Russian-backed Donetsk region. Bigger battles could lie ahead for the wider Ukrainian-held pocket of the Donbass. Beyond the Donbass, Ukrainian officials hope that Russia's focus on capturing the east will drain its forces from other areas. But on Tuesday, Russia said it struck an artillery weapons depot in Ukraine's Chernihiv region, the RIA news agency reported, citing the Russian Defense Ministry.